as a member of Cherub Improv. Can you give it up for Emmy Aronson, everybody? Thanks, Matt. Uh, my friend told me that I have resting bitch face. I know it's hard to tell because I also have active bitch face. So I basically cover the entire spectrum of looking bitchy. I used to feel bad about using the word bitch to describe my face. But now I just look in the mirror and think, at least I don't see my mom. <laughs> no, that's not nice. My mom was very nice. Uh, I did not get it from her. I think I got it from living for like a really long time in a very tiny apartment with steam heat that I can't control. <laughs> or you know what, I might have gotten it from my dad. Because uh, the things I inherited from my dad are uh, really loud nose blowing, snoring, and believe it or not, facial hair. <laughs> so thanks for the RBF, Dad. Really appreciate it. I'm from Long Islands, originally. Anybody? Long Islands? Uh, yeah, I'm from Shoreham. Shoreham is what's, what's that? Short Long Islands? My mom. Your mom. Perfect. Well, I'm, what, what part? Woodbury. Woodbury. All right. Yeah. You know, I'm from Shoreham, <laughs> Suffolk County. Shoreham is where they built the nuclear power plant. That should explain a lot about me. <laughs> our, our middle school was located less than five miles from the nuclear power plant. They cut our funding for arts and music, but we did have a kick-ass uranium enrichment program. <laughs> People don't like the Long Island accent, though. They think it sounds very wrong. I have to tell you, I've gotten a lot of voiceover work in New York with this accent. Your call is very important to us. <laughs> Please remain on the line and your call will be answered in the order in which it was received. You heard that one, right? Not a lot of money for that. Um, <laughs> Long Island does add an extra S to their words, too. They say, uh, hey Margie, you need anything? I'm going to the stores. I'm going to Kmart's, Carvel's, and Target's. In fact, Sears used to just be called Sears. <laughs> then it went to Long <laughs> I feel a little weird because I had a dream about my ex last night. Uh, it wasn't really, well, it wasn't really my ex, it was more like a one night stand. But that happened three or four times. Anyway, in the dream, I go up to the guy and I'm like giving him a hug. And I'm like, wow, you look great. You really stayed in shape. And he's like, yeah, you too. You look great. I'm like, no, you know, I gained some weight. And he's like, no, you look like a walkie-talkie. <laughs> I don't know what kind of body image problems I'm having in my dream life that I think a walkie-talkie is hot. But for some reason it was. So I just said, uh, 10 4, copy, and then I woke up. So it was weird. But uh, the reason I wanted to tell you that is actually uh, more about the one night stand portion. Because I don't know what you guys are planning for tonight, but you just, with one night stands, you have to be careful because you can really lose a lot. Um, this guy took my Def Leppard concert t-shirt <laughs> and my Dunkin' Donuts travel mug, <laughs> mysteriously missing, and my dignity. <laughs> my dignity I can get back, okay? But that t-shirt and that travel mug were irreplaceable. So just be careful, that's all, I, that's all I'm gonna say about that. Um, Guys, I just want to tell you that whether or not you understand Spanish, Spanish love songs will make you go crazy with passion and start to cry. Every Latino artist has a song. Te vas, si te vas, si tu te vas, mi corazón se If you leave me, my heart's gonna die. I'm gonna die. You know what, you're not gonna die. You're gonna beg the person to stay. They're gonna stay, and then they're gonna ruin your credit rating. Thank you for calling, my name is
All right, Ellie Aronson, everybody. Yeah.